Good. Whoa. Uh, we, I mean, we need somebody to turn that down. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Good morning, boys and girls. We just wanted to wake you up. Okay? Everybody wake, wake. Wait a minute. We, all, we lost an hour of sleep, didn't we? But you're still here. That's awesome. Ah, and you're out there, too. Yeah, and you scared me. Oh, God. Well, that's good, right? <laughs> She's smiling. She's smiling. Well, good morning, and welcome to Children's Moment. And today we're going to talk about trusting God. Isn't that awesome? To trust God. What, what does that mean, to trust God? Well, let's look at our Bible verse for today. It says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Wow. What an awesome promise from the Lord, from Jesus. He promises you if you listen to him, if you trust him, if you put your life in his hands, then guess what? He will help you, and he will direct your path. That is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, I want to, well, actually, I need some helpers to prove a point here. Does anybody want to volunteer? As you want to volunteer? Really? I figured you'd be the first one jumped up. Would you like to volunteer? Okay, come on up. Anybody else want to volunteer? <laughs> okay, there are some husbands uh, volunteering their wives. Uh, well, <laughs> usually that's the other way around. Huh. Well, can you help me today? Yeah. Okay, all right. So I have a straw here, okay? around it circles around if you keep on blowing what happens don't you run out of air do you run out of air no you're gonna keep on she's gonna keep on doing it until she's done and what happens is we get would you like this okay here you go you can you, you want to stay up here with me or do you want to go down we're gonna do one more thing it's up to you banana can help Okay, so what happens when we do things on our own is we circle around until we end up giving up out of air and it drops. That's what happens to us. We run out of air. We run out of things, answers, and our way of fixing things. But with God, he never runs out of air. We're going to take this. We're going to turn this on. All right? And right here. Watch. That holds it right up. Let's put our hands together. So <laughs> she's happy. 
happy. She's, she is a good helper. So remember, in our Christian life, there are things that we can do to stay in the path of the Lord. And they are, they are, guess, reading our Bible. Praying. That's right. Any others can, that you can think of? Fellowship. Yes, fellowship with other Christians. Awesome. Another? Worship. worship. And worship isn't just we think of when we think of worship, we normally think of singing. But worship can be breathing. Worship can be uh, being that example to the person next to you. How you react to different things that come into our lives. Okay. Um, there's also things that making wise choices. We, wise choices for things. Like not going to somewhere that everyone else is and you know it's wrong. Or not saying that joke. Or not saying those things that might come out of our mouth that other people use but disrespect the Lord. So remember those things. So what do we learn from all of this? The, the ping pong ball and the straw and the blow dryer. What we learn is doing things without the Lord is not a good idea. And we fall and we run out of air. We need him every day. Not just on Sundays, every day. So remember that, boys and girls. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we just thank you and praise you that you care about each and every one of us here and listening. You care about everyone outside of these doors all around the world. Whether they serve you or whether they don't serve you, Father, you care about them. Lord, I ask that there is someone today that hears this message, that tunes in, that sits in these seats today, that will reach out to you and ask you into their heart and life and start today serving you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Praise God. Boys and girls, meet me in the back.